Hey. So season two finally dropped and to my surprise is actually kind of decent. And with the new season, they added three weapons that we can use right away as long as you get that far in the battle pass. And we're going to be getting the ISO Hemlock Orion today and Polyatomic and Gold and Platinum and all that. And just in case you don't know how to unlock the ISO Hemlock, it's over here in B11 on the battle pass. I don't know if it's a glitch or whatever, but I had 50 uh, battle pass tokens going into this season. At first, it wasn't letting me use it and then it let me use it. I don't know. It's a bit confusing mess, but I, I ain't complaining. Uh, so I got got to get all the battle pass weapons pretty early uh what i did was start here in b1 after i i was told by stream chat also shout out to those of you that came by the stream and watched me play through the beginning of season two but i just worked my way towards the shotgun first and then this way towards the the b11 which had our iso hemlock in it and then we also got the dual kodochis or whatever however you say it and this mastercraft for the iso hemlock anyways i got this thing all leveled up and uh it actually has some new camos with it what i really like about this game is that when a new weapon drops we get four new camos with it assuming it's not like a melee weapon or a launcher so we got the gaseous camo gaseous whatever uh, don't ask me to pronounce something correctly i won't but uh this is probably the worst camo they added in uh someone in the stream chat said it looks like throw up and i agree they also added the cloud hopper which is decent it's a little scratched but i like the idea they're going for it's kind of like a digital sky with you know clouds in it thus the name we have lost signal which i think looks really cool it would definitely look better on different weapons where you can see it more clearly but it's almost like that 3d looking pattern where it's like a, a red in a blue version of whatever you have just kind of like offset to the top and bottom i think it looks cool and then pass the light is one of the cooler camos coming in here it's like a full matte black with uh the red to orange gradient with like the drizzled lines on it i think it looks really nice but for the challenges for this uh we have to get 50 kills with iso hemlock 40 ads kills which we already have these two done I uh, need to get 15 kills from behind with this, which is what I struggle with. And then we also need to get 40 kills while using a suppressor. So we should be able to get all that all done. And then for the gold challenge, it's getting three kills without dying 10 times with it. Uh, and then 25 long shot kills, the bane of my existence. And then 25 headshot kills. So I think our big struggle here today is going to be the kills from behind and then our long shots. But let's go ahead hop in and try to get this stuff done but also before that here's the build i'm gonna be using for right now because we'll be playing hardcore for a little bit okay our first game here is a game in progress on museum i'm glad that it's back but i'm a little upset that they kind of use this as you know new content for season two and i would really rather this map just be completely removed from the season two mosh pit because this map is awful for 6v6 i think it's only good for like 6v6 search and destroy because it's more tactical you know they need a little more space to make plays but here in just 6v6 core like respawn modes the arcade type modes we don't we don't need this map in here uh we got this and dome added to the game which it's cool to see dome come back but like no new maps coming in i know this was a big complaint coming into it i'm not saying anything new but just just had to get my feelings out there the rest of the update's pretty good uh, I thought we are getting a lot more party modes off the bat, but it looks like we only have infection right now. And I guess that's fine. It gives me time to work on some of these guns without like feeling the need to like hop in the gun game and all that. But I would like the option and I hope it's coming soon. I, I can't remember if it's coming in season or not, but I, I hope we, we see it sometime in, in the near future. But I did play a little bit of infected. It was fun. It's a, it's a pretty good mode. And outside of multiplayer, uh, I did play a little bit of the Rebirth Island, like the new one, uh, a Sika Island or something like that. Uh, that was actually really fun. I had a, like the most fun playing Warzone that I've had, uh, you know, minus the Pox chat. And I think it's a good map. I also played DMZ on it. It was all right, I guess. Uh, it, it's a little more fast paced on there. Uh, way more foggy on the DMZ version of the map, but I guess I'll have to give it more attempts because I only really tried it like once. I did one little like mission on there in Xfield, so maybe I'll play a bit more of it. But overall, I think that map's pretty good. And then also the new weapons being added, the ISO Hemlock, obviously the weapon that we're doing today. Uh, it's not the greatest. It's not the worst though. It's pretty like middle of the line AR. I don't know if I'm just dumb or something I, I i mean i definitely am dumb but it it doesn't like jump out as like the best ar in the game it's not gonna be some dlc gun that's stupid op at least in my opinion because i used it in core it seemed eh I, maybe it'll be better now that i have more attachments but since i dropped hardcore you know i had to hop in here I, I was a hardcore main before this game and now it's finally back so i'm hopping on there but also it is really annoying that hardcore is a season two content perk whatever you want to call it like it's added in as some new content when this should have been in the game at launch so i ain't forgetting that cod 
You ain't win me over on that. But I'm at least glad that it's back. Because I've been having some fun playing hardcore. And as for like the, the dual swords and the shotgun. Uh, they're all right. I think the shotgun's definitely the best weapon added into here. At least so far. Uh, I felt like I did the best with it. I used it a bit in Warzone. It, it's pretty good there. Uh, I was leveling up in multiplayer and it did pretty well. And then the swords. I feel like melee weapons just aren't that good in this game. Because the the high time to kill. It seems really difficult to try to like close the gap on somebody unless you're using smoke or, smoke grenades or like stuns. But they're not the worst. They, the swords actually have more range than you think. It's like they come with Commando Pro. It's actually pretty cool. And the inspect animation on them is nice. The one thing I really do hate about this season is I thought we we're getting the crossbow right at launch. It turns out that it's an event item. I think we knew that it was an event item when you had to do like challenges for it. But what they're doing is delaying those challenges for two weeks. So we won't be able to get the crossbow for two weeks unless they drop a bundle with it beforehand. Uh, I hopped in a private match and played with it there. Uh, it, it's pretty cool. Like it's more like the Mono for 2019 uh, crossbow where you can change like the bolt type. So you have like the thermal bolt, you have the gas bolt. And I think there's another one like incendiary, I think could have been it. But I was really excited to get my hands on the crossbow and just disappointed that I couldn't. But overall, this updates more solid than I thought it would be, but I'm still disappointed in a lot of uh, categories. I think that's a kill from behind. I hope so. Those are like the toughest camos to get. I hate camos where it's dependent on what somebody else is doing. So I could sneak around all I want. Somebody could just turn around last second and get the kill on me. Ooh, that is a juggernaut. I am not trying to mess with that. But I will say as much as I detest this map for 6v6, it looks really good. Like visually, it's a good looking map. Outside of that though, keep me away from it. And actually, you know what? This map's probably pretty good for long shots. I'll be real. And the iron sights on this gun are pretty good too. And with this camo that I have equipped on it, the little coil there on the iron sight actually changes color. That's a nice little touch. This game's really good with uh, camo coverage, except for the, the dual swords. I think that's the one weapon that doesn't get the best, at least for like the mastery camos. Oh, you guys will see what I'm talking about when I get those ones done. This should be a kill from behind. Beautiful. Oof. Oh, it's not like I'm about to bust. Oh, we drawed? We, we drew? What's... Th I, I don't know. It, it was a draw. Okay, we got a little bit for our kills from behind. And our suppressor kills are going up. Let's uh, rock one of the, the hemlock skins. Or the camos. We'll do that. Also, yeah, I forgot to mention the whole camo menu UI got to upgrade. I think it looks a lot better now. You can also see your weapon master here and see how many you have unlocked, which is great. And they can also go to all camos and see literally everything. And it's all nice into or put nice into some categories. Okay, here we are on dome. <laughs> Finally, COD is giving us dome. I made a tweet like that when they announced that they're adding dome to the season. More of a oral sex joke. And I think people more took it that I was excited to get a, a reef like hashed map which was not the case like it's cool that's in the game but i would definitely like to see some more like new original uh 6v6 content but i know for a fact i'm gonna i'm gonna do a nice little giggle maybe even a chortle uh when they add in dome 24 7 because you know that's what i'm trying to get oh yeah this map's pretty decent for long shots too maybe it is a good time for both these maps to be in the same playlist seems like it's decent for the long shots should be able to get them done fast without having to sift through tier one to get to like to rock i am upset though that they got rid of shoe house and shipment like i i, I knew it was coming like we've been around the block with cod we know they're not going to keep in the same playlist but like it would be nice to have the option especially for like the swords and the shotgun to play on shipment i would have gotten those leveled up immediately and the camos for them would have been done so fast but maybe that's why they don't do it that way we spend a little more time playing the game Oh, finally. Is that all 15 kills from behind? It's about time. Now we just need our three kills without dying. Look at that. All those challenges done. I'm throwing this camo on immediately. All right, let's see if my dumbass can get three kills without dying now. Camo curse can go ahead and fuck off today. We don't need it. All right, one more, one more, one more. No. Oh, thank God. I was panic hip firing. Don't know how I even got that kill, but that's fine. That's three without dying. We got, we got one done early. Hey, only nine more to go. Oh, you guys suck, huh? Big cocks in your mouth. Big fat meat poking through your cheek. Oh, nope, that's me. There we go. No, it's not. That's a double kill. Call that. Lick balls. Oh, no. Why did so many people peek me at once when I was on a two kill streak? Just one, please. This is going to take a little bit. I might just have to cut uh, when I got this done. Unless I do something crazy. Oh, okay, now just one person peek, please. There it is. Two two works, actually, that time around. Thank you. 
Let's go. The second I said I was going to cut away, I, I finally start getting it. Is that it? Show me gold. Yeah. Now we just have to go for long shots, which should be good for this map. Oops. Sorry, teammate. That wasn't a long shot right there. Oh, you got me fucked up. All right. We're putting an optic on this right now. See you later, stock. Let's get the VLK four times optic on here. And now let's start the longest, slowest, most boring grind in the game. Long shots. Well, in case you're curious on what the ISO hemlock looks like with gold, let me show you. Right here, baby. Hardcore headquarters go away. We don't need you. Oops. I was just throwing knife at the teammate. There we go. That's what it looks like, baby. I clean. Oof. There's no way I'm not done with these long shots yet. Come on. I'm dusting these. So many long shots. Show me the camo already, please. Come on. Basically, every kill I've gotten in this game has been a long shot. Did I get it and just not notice? That could have happened. I'm going to check after this game. And if I'm any less than like 23 long shots, I'm going to be pissed. 41 and 15. I was slapping cocks around that game. Show me my camo. Run me my camo. 130. Oh, no. I'm dyslexic as shit. 69, though. I know that. Oh, okay. I'm at exactly 23 long shots. The game's fucking with me. I should have said 25. All right. Two more, I guess. Come on. Is that it? Yeah. We're all done with long shots. All we need is head on dome. I'll never stop making that joke as long as I live. There we go. Starting off strong. Just 24 more. Oh, shit. Jump scare and a half. What the hell is he doing sitting behind the door? These headshots are going to take a lot longer than I thought. I wasn't getting any on dome. I, I got like one here on this game in museum. I don't know why this is taking longer than long shots is. I might need to put an optic on this. I guess if you guys really want to see it, here's what the ISO looks like with platinum on it i'm not even gonna wait for all the stuff to go away because this camo is butt cheeks damn this is a grueling process i'm getting like no headshots at all no head why are none of these headshots get a quad feed with no head help me out game only his head was peeking out don't know how that wasn't a headshot same with that guy this game's got me fucked up. I literally only need like four more. Oh, but that one's a headshot. Okay. I'm Chris Kyle, apparently, with a voice crack. Another one. Okay, we're finally getting them. We're locked in. Oh, is that it? Please say I'm done. Yes, let's fucking go. Get me out of here. Woo. Okay, let's make sure that we're done. Hey, yep, we got everything. Cool. Sick, nasty. Okay, so if I wouldn't have taken my sweet time with all the headshots, it would have taken me about an hour and a half. Uh, I'm just about to hit the two hour mark of this recording. So that's after leveling it up, by the way. <sighs> all right, let's hop in game and see what it looks like there. All right, well, here's what our Hemlock ISO looks like with Polyatomic. Pretty nice. Uh, also, don't mind the HUD. Uh, I tried putting it into hardcore for private match, but apparently it doesn't work. But yeah, that's what it looks like. Also, here's a sneak peek at uh, the crossbow that you can only use in a private match right now. Put it in the game, devs, please, bro. And this is what the Hemlock ISO looks like with Orion on it. It's actually really nice. Very good coverage on this gun. Basically, the whole thing is the main pattern. And also, I forgot to mention that Orion was updated, so the pattern on it moves a little faster. It actually looks like it's moving. Before, you would thought it was just like a static camo, and they, they sped it up a bit. I think it looks pretty good like this. Anyways, there you have it. Uh, it might have taken me a little bit longer to get this one done, but we have the first of the second batch of DLC weapons, Orion. That probably didn't make any sense. But anyways, we got it done, and we still have some more weapons to do, so stay tuned for those, but... I'm gonna go ahead and end the video here. Uh, I appreciate you guys watching and supporting me. It really does mean the most. You guys changed my life forever. And uh, I will see you guys in the next one. Later.